Also tonight, a breakthrough involving oxygen. We breathe it in through our lungs, but what if the lungs are injured and can't do their job? Well, local researchers are working on a way to inject oxygen directly into the bloodstream, buying the sickest patients precious time. Living cells that are deprived of oxygen for even a few seconds can undergo irreversible damage. Dr. John Kerr is a cardiac intensive care physician at Boston Children's Hospital. Back in 2006, he was taking care of nine-month-old Jordan Morgan, who had pneumonia. After complications, she became deprived of oxygen, developed brain damage, and died. I started this project the night she died. His project is something called injectable oxygen. You can't inject oxygen as a pure gas because it can block the arteries. So they've taken oxygen molecules and packaged them in fatty capsules, allowing the gas to be drawn up in a syringe and injected into a vessel. If a patient was uh, destabilizing right in front of you, if their oxygen levels were dropping right in front of you, you might be able to pick up a syringe of this and rescue them. Here you can see when the oxygen microparticles are added to dark oxygen poor blood, it turns it to red oxygen rich blood. See how bright red it is? It's beautiful. Injectable oxygen could one day help patients with severe lung injury, whether it's people with bad pneumonia or a severe asthma attack, or victims of drowning, choking, or a car accident. In animal models, it works. Dr. Kerr showed they could keep an animal that was unable to breathe for 15 minutes alive by injecting it with these oxygen microparticles, and the animal showed no evidence of organ damage. That and that's lot. really the goal, to keep vital organs working like the heart and brain until the patient's condition improves. Now, eight years after Jordan's passing, Dr. Kerr's dream is almost a reality. All right, well, Dr. Kerr and his staff are fine-tuning the technology. If all goes well and injectable oxygen gets FDA approval, it could become widely available for patient care in three to five years. And I have to say, being in urgent care and oftentimes needing something just to tide someone over until you can get their lungs to function again, this could be revolutionary. Mm. And that's, what a, that's amazing, too. And as a parent, you see your child sitting there, you want something to help, and, and he just says, you know what, this happened once, I want to fix this problem. I know, and he thinks about Jordan all the time, and what a wonderful legacy for her to leave. So grateful for the geniuses all around us in Boston. We are very lucky. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Malika Marshall. And you can send your story ideas to Malika. Email her at drmalika at cbs.com or tweet her at Malika Marshall.